Hello everyone, this is Ambi. Let's go ahead and install the Atom editor on CentOS 7 Linux. Most of the people that I know uh, are when someone asks me which editor you use, I the first one that I recommend is Atom and then the Visual Studio Code. Atom is much uh, more matured and older than VS Code. Of course, Microsoft, Behemoth Microsoft is behind uh, VS Code. VS Code has caught up with Atom uh, very fast. Uh, it's no doubt if you see Atom and um, VS Code, especially VS Code uh, takes inspiration heavily from Atom and Sublime Text. Sublime is another uh, free to use and also paid version, but it kind of gives you pop-up every now and then to pay for it. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and install Atom Editor. So how do you go about it? Go to here, atom.io, click on uh, RPM file because we are on CentOS Linux, right? So once I click on it, download it, I have the downloaded pa package, right click, open in terminal. And then I have this here, let's say PWD, that is where I am. This is what I see, rpm space hyphen i. This is how usually one does. Since I'm not a root user, I'm adding sudo. Let's see. Okay, so what happens? So this is what you get. So what you have to do is um, install right. If you use, you need to be a root, okay, sudo. If you use yum to install an RPM package, it will automatically find the dependent, dependent packages. It will resolve the dependency and install, the, install those packages. Let's wait. Okay, it says package will be installed. Okay, it's finding the dependencies now. Okay, so yes, install size 803 MB. That's a lot. You might say, wow, it's almost like one gig. Trust me, it will be worth it. But if you download it on Windows, right, it's, it's a small package, but it's really, really, really uh, good. It, no matter what language you use, you have always plugins available for it, uh, linting available for it, debugging available for it, inbuilt consoles available for it. So a lot of that is uh, some or the other developer is always developing plugins, themes for Atom Editor.
All right, that's pretty awesome. Now we have dependency installed, Atom is installed. No, we didn't have to wait much. Still there, if I just have to Atom dot, if I press Atom dot, it will open Atom in the present working directory. Let's go ahead and do that, shall we? For now. Okay. Let's see what happens. Anything happened? Nothing. Maybe for the first time, right? It's taking some time. Let's search Adam here. Okay, I see the icon. Icon. All right. So I don't want to see this welcome project all the time. So it has opened it here. And for the first time, it will open their web page. No problem. I'll close this for now. Okay. One opened here. For squid. Telemetry concerned. I want to help improve Adam. The least that we can do is this. Help improve Adam. Everyone do that. Let me close this again. Let me close all of this. Uh, if you have watched my previous video, you know that I have a Django sample project here. Close terminal. LS PWD, right? CD dot dot LS. Now, what I want to do here is I'm going to type atom dot here so that I can have this particular directory. Okay, awesome. Django zero is a project directory, but let's may go ahead and install some additional stuff. Let's make it pretty, let's make it beautiful. Let's make it awesome. Let me go ahead and pull the list of the things that I have uh, it installed here on my local so first let's go to the, uh, so if you press control comma it will automatically take you to settings let's say in core auto hide menu bar i don't want that close deleted files i don't want that so let's go ahead and uh, reopen project menu okay so okay so this is all we have here in core and what all we can do font size instead of 40 what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to keep 20 so that you guys can see i like console as by default it's okay i'm gonna what i will do here is go here i will make console as the first option ignore then Invisible tab, line height, maximum line length, scroll past end, yes. Show indent guide, yes, absolutely. Soft wrap, yes. Tab length two, oh, that's how I like it. If you want, you can change it here. Okay, awesome. Now let's go ahead and here. Now let's install minimap. Now as you can see, let's go to users here. This is a project directory. If I go to let's say settings.py, right? Let's open this. This is how it looks. And after installing the plugins, we can see how it looks. Minimap, yes. Yes, minimap highlight selected, yes. Well, they're getting installed. Auto save is there open this package enable so what it does is let's say i have done some changes here and i just switch my focus to another tab all those changes will be automatically saved so that you will not lose those changes 
Hmm. Let's see what happened to the other packages that we were trying to install. Come on, minimap. Oh, okay. Uh, they got about it. Minimap. Let's wait for those installs. More than five million people or 50,000 people. More than 50,000 people have embraced minimap. One more than four lakh. 90,000 people have embraced this package. Okay. Minimap install dependency. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Now I will install. Python auto enter. Okay, so two thirty five, two like thirty five thousand. There is one more. Let me see auto pep eight. Hmm. Okay. That is 90,000 and here. Two thirty five. So hmm, let's try this. I usually try this, but this time I want to try this. Let's see how it goes. So what it does is automatically indents your Python code when you're typing, uh, saves some time, uh, some most like it, some are who are really like, you know, don't use an editor at all. They use Notepad++ or some kind of very simple uh, text editor with uh, no highlighting, no syntax correction, nothing. They old school guys who like C, C++, you know, they usually don't prefer it or use it so yeah so let's check out the settings that's all we have well we don't have any settings so automatically it's enabled awesome number of tabs yes now only one tab okay then you want some inbuilt console so what you want is ide very famous one is Platform, IO, ID, terminal, something. ID, terminal. Yes, this is the one. So sixteen lakh twenty three thousand people like it i personally prefer it the first package i want to install on any atom installation what it does is it will give you a plus sign here you click on it it will open a command prompt there if you're on windows it will open powershell if you're on linux a terminal All right, great. Now you see a plus icon here. Let's go click on settings, close terminal on exit, uh, core, auto open a new terminal, 
for terminal mapping no all these things you can check them out later if you want you can set colors and all that beautiful stuff let's do one more thing here icons Hmm, which one should I install? There are many file icons. Okay, let's go with this one. Top on the list. So while it's getting installed, go to settings tab here. Right now I don't see it because I have to restart it. Restart the app. Let's install all the applications, all the plugins, and then we will restart. If I click on plus sign here, terminal is open. All right, awesome. You can see that the icons have changed already. Hmm. Cool, isn't it? Now, if this is done, then after that, what all we have? Okay, let's go ahead and install a theme. Monokai. All right, so let's go to themes. We can change nobody what item want, item light, syntax theme, you know, you have solarized dark, all those. But for now, let's go ahead and you know, go ahead and close this. Close. Let's launch again. Okay, so now we can see a mini map here. Map of the code. So we don't have to scroll down, you just know like, okay, so we're at the middle of the page you wanna go. Okay, this is a block of code I wanna go. I just click on here, I'll go there, right? That's all we uh, have for item editor here. Uh, please exploit, it's a wonderful package to have, especially if you're beginning with, uh, it will save a lot of time. It will save you from a lot of errors, debugging, it's gonna be a lot easier uh, if you are, let's say you are developing something on Terraform or JavaScript, so you can install some certain plugins uh, recommended, or you can just go and search for plugins, uh, see whichever is the most used or most voted, most starred. Go start with that and later, based on, on your needs, especially HTML and CSS editors, you will love uh, Adam RBS Code. Yep, thank you for tuning in, have a great one.